courses and eligible occupation to the extension of Subclass 485. Um, remember before, nung uh, nagkaroon tayo ng maraming live, I, I was talking about the post-study work rights extension. And uh, I was also talking about na, that not all courses, not all bachelor degrees will be uh, eligible for uh, extension of Subclass 485, right? So, ang, ang extension na sinasabi natin ngayon dito is only for the post-study um, stream. Not the other one, not the graduate work stream, ha? So, ang pinag-uusapan lang natin dito ay yung mga nag-graduate ng bachelor degree at nung uh, nasa higher education sector, okay? So, now, uh, immigration has released the list of those courses and universities that are eligible for extension of Subclass 485. Medyo mahaba yun. I think, uh, ilang, how many, how many uh, thousands ba yan? Oh, no. In terms of uh, instrument, then you can see that on the screen. Uh, is that 125 pages? Um, ayan, uh, pina-flash ni Cara sa screen natin kung alin-alin yung mga iskwelahan na yan at alin dyan yung mga, uh, mga programs na eligible for um, for 85 extensions. So, which means to say na kung wala yung course na kinuha ni Jaan, hindi kayo eligible for the two years work um, um, two years uh, work extension, no? So, ayan. So, medyo mahaba yan. Ayan. So, Ngayon, anong, anong gagawin dito no, sa mga sa listahan na to? So, very easy lang to. Kung, kung kayo ay um, kumuha ng course and eligible sa 485 uh, post-July 1, mag expire yung first 485 nyo, pwede kayo at eligible kayo for another 2 years under 485. It's free application fee yan. Uh, pero kung uh, kayo naman ay holder ng 485 pero nag-expire yung 485 nyo before the 1st of July, hindi pa effective itong mga courses at nandoon yung course na kinuha nyo sa listahan, uh, dapat hindi na kayo covered. No? Pero immigration has introduced another system here. So, in this na bigyan kayo ng 485, they can give you a 408 visa for 2 years. Okay? So, kung meron kayong problema sa pag-intindigyan sa mga uh, specifics na yan, come to us and uh, we should be able to assist you with that. No? Medyo may complications, hindi yan straightforward, but uh, yan yan. No? So, merong mga eligible straight away, automatically for the uh, extension, uh, two years extension. Uh, of visa under 485. Meron naman kung hindi, yung mga naiwan, hindi naka-apply or nag-expire yung visa nila at hindi pa lumabas itong, uh, itong instrument na ito, then you are eligible for 408 uh, for 2 years. Okay. So, yun, mahaba. Pero, the good thing about that is for you to be aware na merong listahan ngayon, no? Para maging eligible doon sa uh, bachelor degree courses na mabibigyan kayo ng 4 years stay. No? Kasi pag bachelor degree graduate ka, di ba? Kung halimbawa nag student visa ka, bachelor degree graduate ka, 2 years lang yung binibigay sa iyo na, uh, na, na 485. Pero now, kung nandoon ka na sa listahan at yung eskwelahan may nasa listahan, yung course may nasa listahan, then automatically you will be eligible for 4 years further stay in Australia under the 485. Okay, so the tip here is kung ikaw ay mag-student visa, tingnan mo yung listahan na yan. At kung ikaw ay kukuha ng bachelor degree, tingnan mo yung listahan na yan so that you can be sure that you can get the four years after student visa. Right? 